Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going into Polar Opposites. This is the second quest of the first chapter. And we are going to first take a look at the different paths to see which one is the easiest. And we'll talk about the global nodes in a moment. All right, so normally you can take a look and see that first one star chest and say, okay, well, that's gonna be the easiest path. But in this case, that is not true. If you'll notice, I went and looked a little bit along the path to see the champions I would be fighting. And I decided not to take this path for the first initial clear. Now, you also wanna take into consideration the champions you're using and your own abilities. So now here we have the far left path. That seems to be the easiest. You don't have to deal with a lot here. And then I look and I saw that none of these champions look like they were gonna give me any difficulty. And so that's the path that I recommend you take for this second quest of the first chapter, the far left path. All right, now, while we're fighting, let's talk about the global nodes. Now there are four global nodes that you want to be aware of. Apex Manufacture, Composite Construction, Stack Overflow, and Overclock. Apex Manufacture gives Sentinel 1% additional true damage per charge. Sentinel can gain a max of 100 charges. So this adds 100% true damage. So that means it effectively doubles his damage and makes him a true beast. So if you have a Sentinel, even as a four star, I recommend that you bring him. Now, Composite Construction, uh, all tech champions in this fight are immune to ability accuracy modification. That comes into play when you fight someone like Magneto and Domino. Normally, you have a bad day fighting, say, Ghost against Magneto because you can't rely on your phasing. Sometimes you'll phase, sometimes you won't because you will be magnetized. But thanks to this global, you don't have to worry about that and you can fight him just as you would fight anyone else. Starkey, the same thing. And now he is even better at fighting Domino because he doesn't have to worry about the ability uh, reduction. So I am loving those. Stack Overflow. Uh, each additional tech champion on your team will increase the duration of their debuffs. Now, there's something very useful that you can do here. Uh, if you don't have Sentinel or you don't have some really good champions, maybe you do have Spider-Man Stark Enhance. You can use him along with a full team of tech or bring along Miles Morales. Now... What that will do, Miles Morales extends his debuff, but Starkey, he has a guaranteed stun on his special one. With the other tech champions on the team, and thanks to Stack Overflow, you can get very, very good amount of damage in. Uh, you can't completely stun lock them, but what you can do is you build up you know your power until almost the second bar and then you go in fire off the special one just keep building up and eventually you're going to get to where you can only fire off one special one and you're not going to be able to build up enough power to uh, do anything more when you do that stun them hit them with a heavy drain their power bait out their specials and then do it again so little tidbits. And finally, Overclocked, uh, all champ uh, champions other than tech are gonna have their attack reduced by 50%. All right, so that doesn't mean that you can't use non-tech champions. Uh, you can use someone like Hyperion who does a lot of damage anyway, and that 50% reduction is not gonna bother you all that much. All right. So I love this variant. I love how they designed it. Very, very nice. Now, this fight here, I was a little salty and I can't blame anybody but myself. All right, that right there was me. 
just not having the timing down. And so I said, all right, well, he got me. Let me uh, buckle down. So now, you know, we, you see that we've got the timing a little bit here. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting more used to it because I'm not used to fighting uh, Doc Ock with Ghost. Fired off my special two, phased out the recoil. I'm like, yeah, everything is going great here. All right, pushed him to a special, but phased. Now I have the hood synergy. So I'm not gonna take any damage here. So I'm like, yeah, I got him. And that 1% bug, very annoying. Just look at what it has done, okay? So I was all right, ready. And so I did this, dash back and was like, wait, I'm not phased. That was me forgetting that when I attack like that, I get that precision and while it's up, I can't phase. So that was me screwing up, but look at his health. I really wish they'd fix that, something. I don't know what it is, whether it's just a visual bug or whether there's something else going on, but it has tripped me up more than once. You know, I would like it if maybe, if you get low, maybe 10%, uh, it switches over to a value. That might be nice, or I don't know. I'm not even sure how uh, they would do it, but I would love it if they looked into that. All right, so now we're fighting Masaki, and there's nothing too special about this guy here to fight him, uh, other than you wanna bait out his special one, if you do accidentally push him to a special two, do not block it. That will be a bad day for you. You take a lot more damage if you block it than you would if you just got hit with it. I learned that the hard way. All right, but Starkey's not having too much trouble here. Fire off that special two. Didn't have my poise charges, but I find it difficult to get poise charges against him. I don't know what it is with his animations, uh, I haven't been able to uh, interrupt his heavies and they look a lot like his special one. So I end up just fighting him straight like you saw there. All right, so now we've got this last fight before the boss, it's Gambit. Not difficult at all. I don't have my ghost. I was planning on using ghosts to clear most of that, but Fortunately, Starkey, he's up for the job. Uh, he is one of my favorites. Ghost, Starkey, and Corvus are my three favorite champions uh, to fight with uh, in this game. All right, so here you see that I'm, you know, building up the uh, poise charges. It's easier to get them against uh, Gambit here. All right, and eventually, if I get too close to the wall or I do that, I just go in for the attack. All right, and then here we go. And so we should be good. We're getting some good crits. And I know that I'm gonna be able to build up some more poise charges as time goes, but firing off this special two here should take him out. Don't have to worry about any 1% bugs there. All right, so, so far the path was not too difficult. I messed up, lost ghost, uh, but had I not messed up like that, uh, that would have been quite an easy path to do. But I still need practice with Ghost. All right, so now we're facing Magneto. Ghost could have done this thanks to the Globals. Now that Goss Warp, that can give you a very bad time, but it's made for Sentinel. Sentinel can shock on his heavy. So limber doesn't matter too much. You know how to play around that. The fury, the uh, enhanced special two, those can be a little annoying. Uh, if you don't know how to evade the special two, you can have a very bad day on this fight. All right, so first I go in with Starkey. I'm expecting to take him out with Sentinel, but Starkey might be able to do it as well. So I give him a try first. All right, now I'm running suicide, so I'm taking all that lovely poison and bleed damage. But as you can see, you know, we're doing a good job here. Fire off that special two, which is where Starkey gets the shock. So if you're fighting with Starkey, you wanna keep firing off that special two. That's your uh, main source of uh, pretty much uh, indirect damage, I guess, because you need to shock them to get rid of those Gauss charges. Um, if you don't, 
he's gonna get so much more block damage and just look at this i'm trying to evade and i was trying to do an intercept and he just would not follow me and he just waited and intercepted me so while it doesn't give you more damage he gets more damage he gets more block penetration so you want to shock him frequently and you want to hit him frequently because of the aggressive fury All right so that is basically how you do that fight now again i know that sentinel is going to be able to do this fight but i want to get down as much damage as possible just to make it easier for him i don't see any reason to make the fight more difficult for my boy sentinel uh, that was a mistake there. I just evaded back a little too early because uh, I wanted to do a little more damage, but it's all good. Now, here I had a choice. And again, I decided to go with somebody who was not going to be the main person uh, to take this guy down just to do a little bit more damage. Now, I don't know what happened there. I just stood there and ate that heavy. And I was kind of upset about that because that meant that I wouldn't be doing as much damage. And because he's not tech, his damage was already gimped, you know? So I was like, okay, well, I just wanted to get a little bit of damage in there. Apparently, I'm not going to be able to do as much. Um, and there we go. Uh, I was too far back, and it's a little bit more difficult with the timing to evade his special too. When I'm close up, I have a much easier time. All right, so finally, we bring in the big boy, Sentinel. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm hitting into his block to build up those analysis charges and look at how fast they're building up. Remember, Magneto is a mutant, so Sentinel already builds them up quickly. And if I were awakened, I would probably build them up even faster. But he's already had 100 analysis charges. And so now, I just really need to just go in. Doesn't even matter. Fight is over. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Hopefully this video helps you out when you do your clear. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.